Okay. Hello again, back with another video for you guys to work out at home. Today is Wednesday. Remember to work pink. We're gonna do a Tabata workout. The same as we do on Wednesday, like we do it in class, my 15 to my 9 30s, my 5 30 at night. So it's very important. You're probably gonna need to download a timer. They're called Tabata timer. If you go to your uh, application, download any free application for Tabata because you're gonna need it. Because the way I want you to do it is we're gonna do five rounds like we do in class 25 seconds of workout, 15 seconds of rest. If you don't have a Tabata timer and you wanna do it by reps, the reps are average 15s but try not to rest too long between sets because you're trying to get uh, five rounds as fast as possible, okay? Make sure you rest is between 10 to 15 seconds and that's it. Go to the next exercise, get five rounds, and then you can stop. So again, if you're not using the timer, it's 15 reps. If you are using the timer, 25 seconds of workout, 15 seconds to rest, five rounds. The Tabata number one, the first group, we're gonna do push-up row, bicycles, and hip splits. Remember on Wednesday, we use some bands. The bands on this exercise is gonna go above your knees. If you don't have any bands, that's fine. You can do it without the bands. Just move a little faster, you know? So I'm gonna put the bands right above my knee for my first round. I'm gonna set up my timer. I'm gonna start with my push-up row. I'm gonna need my dumbbells for that. Need to grip on my push-ups inside the mat because I want my elbows to be glued to my ribs. And then as soon as it beats, I'm gonna go all the way down come up and then alternate row. I'm gonna to try to get as many as I can in 25 seconds, then I rest. From there, I'm gonna to go to my bicycles. Those are gonna be on my back. Keep your legs elevated, opposite elbow to your opposite knee. Notice that my other knee is nice and straight. I'm trying to work with the resistance on the bands. If you don't have the bands, that's fine. You're gonna do just bicycles. I get my bicycles going, alternate. And then my hip split, heels down, push my hip as high as I can and then just work with that small movement on the outside. I'm not bringing it all the way in. I don't want to lose tension. So I'm just going to work with this small movement to the outside, 25 seconds, then right away, I turn around, rest 15, and I do it again. Push up row, my bicycles, then my hip splits. That's the round number one. On the round number two, I'm going to go around the world, power squats, and the scorpion kicks. Notice, left and right on my scorpion kicks, that means that my Tabata, Instead of doing three exercises, I'm doing actually four because when I go to the scorpion kicks, I'm gonna do my right leg and then my left. So instead of 15 rounds, it usually is, it's gonna to go to 20. So in the first one, we did uh, 15 sets. Three rounds, five times, 15. When one is four, you go to 20. Okay, so your timer is gonna to go to 20 sets. Around the world with your dumbbells, just, you know, your big circles, make sure your hands are facing forward the whole time. Then I rest my 15 seconds, my power squats, remember hips back a little bit, bend your knees, you're gonna go outside and inside. Stay low, don't come up, stay low, right? And then from there to my scorpion kicks, down to the mat again, and then I'm gonna brace my heel as high as I can. I don't go, the, if I have the bands, I'm not gonna go all the way down. I'm gonna keep that resistant and then just going up. That's it, so I wanna keep that resistant. If you don't have the bands, you're gonna go all the way down and all the way up. The idea when you don't have the bands is to bring your knee in to work your abs a little bit too, okay? So make sure if I don't have my bands in, then I'm gonna try to bring my knee in and then all the way up. But since I have my bands on, it's just a small movement. Right here, just keep that resistance, it beats, rest my 10, 15 seconds, then I do my other one, my other leg, and then again, I come up, and then I start all over again right away. Around the world, power squats, and then scorpion kicks. Usually on class, we do around the block with the bands on, we do our side steps. So we're gonna do that too. After the two rounds, make sure you get about 100 meters and then you're gonna do your side steps, then go and come back and then jump to the, uh, to the second workout. Again, those side steps, it's just one time. You're gonna go about 100 meters and come back. If you're inside of your house, then just do a couple laps on your living room or your patio, but if you can go outside, maybe you can do around your block of your house, maybe. A hundred, you know, just the same as we do on the gym. Uh, workout number three, we're gonna do reverse lunges, dog at the park and jackknives. Reverse lunges, you gotta stay low, okay? Bands above my knee again. I'm gonna split out my legs a little bit, stay low, just bring this knee down, and then come up, okay? That's all I'm doing, staying low the whole time, all the way down, beats, 
and then I switch to my other legs. I'm not gonna do alternate on this one because I wanna keep that 20 set. So reverse lunges, my right, then my left, then I'm gonna go to dog at the park. It's the same position as the scorpion, but this time I'm gonna go outside. And again, I'm not going all the way down. I'm gonna go all the way up, but just halfway down. I wanna keep that resistant on the band. If I don't have the bands, then yes, I do the full movement. But since I have the bands on, I'm just gonna go halfway up, okay? Halfway, I go to the other side, and then jackknife. I'm gonna turn around, come up and clap under my legs. Full stand my legs, and when I come up, I bring my knees to my chest, clap under. Get as many as I can in those 25 seconds, then I turn around, I do my reverse lunges, dog at the park, and jackknife. That's my workout number three. Then on four, I have uh, flies, hammer curls, and back kicks. On the flies, well, before I start that routine, I'm gonna lower my bands. On the last one, we're gonna keep your bands. It could be right, mid, or all the way down to your ankles. For the flies, I wanna work my back a little bit, so I'm gonna lean forward. I'm gonna lean forward, push my hips back, and I'm gonna go outside. If your dumbbells are too heavy, then I want you to row. If they're too heavy, you cannot fly. Be careful with your shoulders. You don't wanna hurt yourself. So if they're too heavy, row, but if they're not, fly. 25 seconds, as many as you can. From there, I'm gonna to go to my hammer curls, alternate. And then my back kicks, I'm gonna be here. I'm just gonna bring this leg back a little bit, push my head forward, shoulders back, stand tall, and then kick back. That's it, that's all I'm gonna do. Just working on the hamstrings and the glute. Don't lean forward. Right here, you're not doing anything. Keep your shoulders back, tight up your stomach, just kick back. Right here, as many as you can. The first three, four, it feels easy, but 25 seconds, you'll feel the burn. And then, of course, switch to the other side. Stand tall, heel back, just work on that kick. Work on that resistance. If you don't have bands, that's fine. Just your movement is gonna go way higher. Okay, all the way down, all the way up. If you don't have the bands, you still make sure you lock that knee. The knee that I'm using is locked in order to squeeze my quad, feel on the hamstring, feel on the glute. You don't wanna bend your knee, okay? Keep it nice and straight. Remember, don't lean forward, key two. Keep your back arc a little bit, okay? Then I do my other side, and then I start all over again. I do my flies, my hammer curls, and my back kicks. When I'm done, hopefully you have time to do the side steps one more time. Like we, the way we do in class, then we, make, we finish with one more lap, and then we're done, then we stretch. Make sure you stretch, guys. Warm up before we start the workout, and stretch at the end so you're not tied up, right? Then I'll see you soon. Happy Wednesday to everyone, and I hope you enjoyed this workout.